What's up guys, it's Just In Case, back again for something new. We're doing a new show, Top 5 List, with my co-host, Toaster. One of three toasters. You want to have three toasters, and I have, and I have a puppy too. So today's Top 5 List is something you probably, guys are probably going to disagree with, but remember, this is all just opinions. Our humble opinions. Just opinions. We're going to give you some facts and why we believe what we believe and how we've come to our conclusion. Today we're doing top five most overrated bands of the 60s and 70s. Number five. Led Zeppelin. I know this one's going to make so many people mad. They're going to be real butter. Right? <laughs> but this is our realistic list. This is most overrated bands. These are like, it's a list of bands that the, the hype does not match up to what is actually really there. We're gonna go over a couple reasons why. Okay, first of all, listen to this. <laughs> I don't want to single someone out, but listen to this Jimmy Page solo right here. I found this on YouTube labeled under best Jimmy Page solo <laughs> of all time. It's the best. Okay, just take a second, listen to this. <laughs> Okay, so I, I I know you're saying we're just singling it out and this is one particular clip or whatever, but what am I going to do? I'm going to do every clip. I'm going to put every clip of every song. This is just one video. We know we're going to make some people mad. If you don't, if you disagree, put it in the comments below. That's fine. All right, so <clears throat> another reason why I personally wanted to put Led Zeppelin on this list is they're one of those bands where people just say, man, that's the greatest band ever. Man, ever. That's a pretty bold statement. And I think that after enough time when people say, it's the greatest band ever, it starts to be like, okay, let's really, let's really compare this and see if I would say this is the greatest band ever. And I would definitely say Led Zeppelin is not. But that's, they're not a bad band. That's why they ended up number five on our list. Number four. Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin. <laughs> Janis Joplin. 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 <laughs> Janis Joplin. Okay, our reasoning behind this is, I guess the best way to start this off with is an audio clip. Go ahead and listen to this audio clip. Sitting down by my window, just looking out at Just doesn't do anything for me. You? No, no, I don't know why people think she is so... Funny. I've been told that she's the best singer, best female singer of all time. I've never Some heard that. Really? Well, then you're a lucky man. Um, you know, and like I said, maybe this is one of those things of people coming in and, and tainting the, my thoughts. But that's why this is the most overrated. You know, this isn't based on talent. This isn't based on record sales. This is based on people and their concepts and holding these people up like gods and idols. And it's just not there. Exactly. Number three. This one probably gonna make a lot of people mad. But I feel like this is one of the most justified on the entire list, to be honest. The Doors. And by The Doors, I'm going to make a little asterisk, a little side note here, right here. Mainly Jim Morrison. That's how I feel about it. Because if you listen to The Doors, it's, it's actually pretty good music. They're pretty tight musically. It, the lyrics to me is just mumble, blah, blah, blah. And I'm an artist. I understand art. I do. I really do. I'm not saying like I, I understand every type of art because it's impossible for anybody to do that. But I'm, it's 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 childhood. It's like a twelve-year-old poet wrote the door song, the door <laughs> songs. So here is um, a clip of Jim Morrison because I think that part of him being overrated is the fact that he kind of was a douche. I mean, I didn't know kinda. the guy. <laughs> I didn't know the guy, but from everything I've seen and read and, and things like that, I mean, he did some very douchey things with the power that he had to stood on. And here, here's a clip of him I found on YouTube, drunk, rambling, it's a, it's incoherent shit, pretty much. about some stuff. <laughs> Go ahead and listen to this one. A lot of trouble here tonight. A lot of electrical problems. So, like I said, this is the most overrated band. I know so many people. My favorite band is The Doors, man. My 
favorite band is The Doors. And it's just like, they're the best band of all time. And that's why they ended up on this list. So I'm not saying they're a terrible band. I'm not saying I haven't ever just like been like, yeah, okay. It's a good song. Bob my head to that song. Exactly. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is they have been put on this pedestal, which they do not deserve. Number two. This net number two is actually dedicated to my father. So anyone who wants to give me bullshit about this, which I'm sure they are, my father, who grew up in this era, this is his thing right here we're talking about, said to me one day, and I had to come to this conclusion myself already, he said to me one day, he said, I never really got the thing with Jimi Hendrix. Not really that good of a musician, not really that good of a guitar player, music's not really that great. My dad said this to me, okay? like. This is something you can tell me, oh, you don't understand it because of the age and the time. He was there. He did it. And he was like, even he was like standing there going, why do these people, why do these, the greatest guitar player in the world? How many times have you heard that in your life? I can't even count. Endless. Everyone who's watching this video has heard that Jimi Hendrix is the greatest guitar player in the world. And, and, and there's people on YouTube that have less subscribers than I do that are better guitar players than Jimi Hendrix. Sure. That is flat out. I'm not, I'm not claiming I'm a better guitar player than Jimi Hendrix, but I'm saying there are millions of people out there that are better guitar players. He did do what, things for music. I've got to do this side note. I've got oh, no, to he was an innovator. He sure. was an innovator. He, he did a lot of things. He tried a lot of things. In, in fact, in an interview that we watched earlier, he himself admitted, he said, I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world. He said, I mess up all the time. Yeah, he said, he said he's busy. He said he's, he's, too bu he's too busy doing things at the time. He's like, I'm missing notes all the time. I'm missing my scales all the time. I mean, that's... So, like, he self-admitted saying this, and I'm going to hear the rest of my life that Jimi Hendrix is the best guitar player in the entire world. Why, well, there's people out there who sweat every moment of their entire lives, and that's what, mo what this video is more about. It's about the people who get all this credit, and there's people out there who spent every waking moment of their entire lives to better their musical career, their musicianship. Sure. And this is what they, and, the, and they're going to be compared to Jimi Hendrix. You know, the, the, the dude who spends eight hours a day practicing, is, is being compared to Jimi Hendrix no matter where because he plays guitar. Right. Uh, God, think, God help the left-handed guitar players. Oh my God, I never even thought about that. <laughs> no, you're good at Jimi No, you left-handed guitar player like Jimi Hendrix. You should be awesome or you should be this. Or I'm going to ramble on about this one forever. So, we're going to finish this one off. Like I said, if you disagree with me, it's alright. I'm not saying that your music sucks. I'm not saying you're not allowed to like it. You know, I, a lot of the music I like, you probably would not like. This is just about opinions. Okay, big one. Big kahuna here. Number the, one. Number one. Alright. The Grateful Dead. Alright, so it seems like I'm gonna start off with misleading. Because misleading is goes along with me with being overrated. Would you would you agree? Sure. So misleading is as I grew up, I was never really my parents didn't really listen to the Grateful Dead. I was never really around Grateful Dead. It's more a high school thing. Absolutely. And when I hit high school, I seen people with Grateful Dead T-shirts on, and obviously I'd heard of the Grateful Dead, and I always seen these symbols, these like a full skull, full skeleton there. Is it full? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he may have been wearing like a crown of flowers or whatever, but it said Grateful Dead in bones, and it says and there's a full skeleton on his shirt. So I always kind of like thought like Grateful Dead, like they must be not what the Grateful Dead are. Maybe I, some sort of like heavy band? I guess like yeah, maybe not, rock and roll. Just not what they are. Yeah, rock and roll. They're not rock and roll. Would you? I wouldn't say that they're rock and roll, would you? They're not. They're definitely more like folk jam band. Yeah. And, and that's one of the, another reason why they deserve to be number one on this list. Because they are the band who probably put the least amount of effort in it. And this is just my opinion. Like, Jimi Hendrix at least admits, Yeah, I mess up notes all the time. I screw up scales. I'm a busy guy. These guys are like, It's cool. We will phone in three, three and a half hour shows. Oh my god. We, we do, I mean, a we lot were, of them longer than that. We were watching a video earlier, and it was 30 minutes long. And it was three songs. And you can say, yeah, yeah, 10 minute songs. The first two songs were less than 10 minutes of it, I believe. Yes, and one song was over 20. That's what I mean. And it's like, they were just... And they're going to be held forever with these other bands, which I'm not even going to mention in this video because I feel like it's just going to 
stir the, the pie. It'll just cloud the field. Of what exactly. We're to well, do. Exactly. But these other bands who have done all of this work and they've. You know, they constantly progress themselves. In their shows, they make sure that their shows are tight. And they work in the... They're, they've been bands for 20 plus years and they still practice. They still have weekly or bi-weekly practices. These are bands who are on tour and they're still practicing. And, and that's why I think the rest of my life I'll hear about how the Grateful Dead... But here's the thing, why they're number one. Their mythos, you know what I mean? Like the story of them is is more impressive. I feel like what really made them hold their mark in history or whatever is the movement that went with them, the time, sure. how people would follow them around. It kind of never really had happened kind of like that before, to my knowledge. Right, like people would just follow them around the country, and, I, and probably people, just because they had great drugs. Exactly. I, I watched it, and this is just something I've seen on TV, so I haven't done my full research on it, but something I've seen on TV, which they were talking about how the Grateful Dead, the people that travel with the Grateful Dead, they would travel, whether it was with the band, I don't know if they were officially, you know, part of the band, or like or with the band, them. or just following them, so I'm not sure about that. But they would bring these giant jugs of the LSD, like big, probably way bigger than my hand is doing right now. I mean, big, these big jugs of LSD. And then you would get there, and they would just kind of like pass it out. Like, I've seen this on a VH1 or something like that, I don't know. So whether it's true or not, I wasn't there, obviously. But to me, it seems to me like that's almost like cultish brainwashing. Like, like obviously, if you trip on LSD enough, or trip on acid enough, and you hear this thing going on if, for multiple, multiple nights. Exa exactly. <laughs> and that's how we end up with, view this clip here, this is how we end up with fans like this. All right, my name's UJ Pastrana, and I'm waiting here for Grateful Dead. I've been here for... I waited online for three days for these tickets. Tonight is my 75th concert. The dead care about their fans, and they play music so that that their fans like. They make everybody feel good. And I try to go to every concert they perform because they're the best at what they do. The dead are just beautiful. They they make beautiful music. They offer something that nobody else offers, and it's it, it's a family, a big family. The dead, you know, that, that's where most of my money goes. I just love them so much. Why? 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 Because it's just their music, the people, the atmosphere, everything around here. If you know, if you look, there's so much love around. Definitely. The people, we're all brothers and sisters here. We're here to see the Grateful Dead. You see what I'm saying? It seems to me like that was almost built up. It's almost like, oh, I'd hate to compare it to... It's just like drinking the Kool-Aid. It's like any of these things on this list. This one is just more guilty than any of them, in my opinion. Give them some face paint, the Juggalos. Absolutely, it's, it's, it is. I feel like, it, what, what step are they not a cult? Do you know what I mean? Like, what step was Grateful Dead people not a cult? I mean, they believe in this thing so much, and they're just like, oh, it's just like nothing. They offer something that nobody else offers. Yeah, 30 minute long shitty songs. Like, I love bands, and I love. <laughs> and I love music. A huge part of my life is music. A huge part of Toaster's life is freaking music. I mean, it drives us. We're in a band together, okay? So, like, it's not like we don't understand music, but I don't think I've ever truly felt like this band offers something that nobody else does. I mean, I feel like they might offer bits and pieces of things. Sure, but not Or, or maybe deliver it in a way. Do you know what I mean? But I wouldn't say that they offer something that nobody else does. Right. Especially with the Grateful Dead. I mean, that's, that's it's folk music. It's jam band folk music. It's, yeah, it's just, like I said, background music. Yeah. It's meant for the background of things. So and even then, it still makes your background kind of drab and boring. Oh, we actually, oh, <laughs> we had some issues doing some research for this video. It was, it was painstaking. So hopefully you guys like this video. I'm not sure if you agree or disagree. If you liked it, you know, just because you disagree does not mean you need to click that dislike button. This is just opinions. I mean, just comment below. You know what I mean? If I get enough comments below, maybe I'll eat my words. You know, maybe I'll do enough research and I'll be like, you know what? I was wrong. We'll see. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I doubt it. I've spent my entire life building uh, to this point, building these conclusions. So, I mean, but but you know, other yeah, it's there's not probably nothing anyone's gonna say that I'm gonna be like, you know what? God damn, Grateful Dead's a great band. Exactly. But at the end of the day, let's get a cute puppy in this so people can't hate us. At the end of the day, these are just our opinions. It's just a top five video. It's not here to make anybody mad. It's not here to offend anybody. It's not for any of those reasons. It's just to compile to see if other people feel the same way that we do. Yeah. So hopefully you guys agreed or disagreed and you like this video. 
uh, we're gonna try to do some more of these. Keep, uh, I say we're gonna do genres. We did like you know we're doing 60s and 70s, so we'll do like 70s and 80s and 2000s and present. Yeah, maybe some other videos like you know top five most overrated guitar players of all time. Absolutely, and uh, we're thinking about doing things with like movies. You know, maybe like the top five best action movies of all time. So. I'm sure we're going to make you mad more than we make you happy at the end, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe you'll like it. Or just, you know, start a conversation about it. We're just going to be nice honest, way. and we want to know your feedback, and then we'll go from there. We're just judging by what we've seen, and maybe you have information that we're not aware of. So, we'll see you guys next time. We're going to end this on a high five. Whoosh!